guys ready to sing this morning? Yeah. Do you want to start off with Hosanna Rock this morning? Yeah. All right, say please, Miss Deb. Say please, Miss Deb. Yeah. All right. Help me sing, okay? Because the priests were really quiet this morning. Uh, we're ready. That would be different.
God is so good, and I know you guys have missed. I will pray. So ready? Yes. I will pray. And then we're gonna see you. <laughs> and we're gonna, I know it was. I would take requests this morning. All right, y'all ready? All right, Miss Stella, we're ready this time. It was much, much bigger than this. 
but it had holes on the bottom of it so that the Israelites could carry it from one place to the other. And inside the real Ark of the Covenant, there were some things in it. So let's see what's in my box. What is this? A rock? A rock? What color is it? Gray. Gray. So this, the inside the real Ark, was a stone tablet on which were the Ten Commandments that God had given Moses. So this is how we think about the Ten Commandments, okay? Is we have our own stone. It's not a stone tablet, okay? What is this? It's bloomed up. See? Inside the real ark was the rod that had bloomed, um, Aaron's staff that had bloomed. So we have a flower for that. Okay? I put something else in my little box that's like the ark. It's the Bible verses, and they're from different books of the Bible. So this first one says, do what the Bible says. We're supposed to learn from the Bible, right, and do what it says. And this Bible verse is from the book of James. I will have one on my gift. This one says, be kind to one another, and it's from the book of Ephesians. And this one says, we must obey God, and it's from the book of Acts. So we're going to talk about being obedient. But first, let's put our donkey ears up and let's do the books of the Bible. You ready? Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, Acts and Romans, 1st Corinthians, 2nd Corinthians, Galatians, and Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, 1st and 2nd Thessalonians. Mark. Let's tap on these this morning. You ready? Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, Acts and Romans, 1st Corinthians, 2nd Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, 1st and 2nd Thessalonians. Miss Holly is here this morning, but you know her favorite animal is bears because of Baylor bears. So can we do bear calls for our last one? Help me. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, Acts and Romans, 1st Corinthians, 2nd Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, 1st and 2nd Thessalonians. Thessalonians is still a big word, isn't it? Good job. All right. So, we talked before. It is still open. It's okay. Do all these Bibles look the same? No. Are they even the same size? No. No. But do you know what? They have the same words of God in them. And I want to show you something. Do you know why these two are smaller than this one? I'll show you. Look how tiny the letters are in this Bible. It has all the same books and all the same words as my Bible I brought from home. But look how much bigger the words are. That's why this Bible is smaller than this Bible. It doesn't matter what color the cover is on the front, right? So in my Bible, it does are all of the, uh, the words true or just some of them? Oh. All of them, every single one. Yeah. How many big cards are in my Bible? 100. No, how many big cards? You guys, stop, stop, stop. 66. Stop, 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 stop. Hang on. Listen to the question coming out of my mouth. I know you know all the answers, but you're just guessing because you're not using your listening ears. So everybody turn your ears off. Big parts. How many big parts are in my Bible? Two. Two. What are they called? The Old Testament and the New Testament. The Old Testament and the New Testament. Jesus came in which part? The Old Testament. No, in the New. Because why, Isaac? Jesus made everything new, right? Yes, he sure did. Okay, now tell me how many little books are in my Bible. Sixty-six. Sixty-six. What is the very last book of the entire Bible? We just started learning this one from Scruffy. Starts with an R. Red. Red. No. Reva. Revelations. Revelations. Yes. Good try. All right. What is the very first book in the whole Bible? If I go all the way to the beginning. Gen I said Genesis. <laughs> Genesis. Exactly. You did. You were close. What's the first book in the New Testament? Matthew. Matthew. That's right. If I turn right here, then Matthew is the first book in the New Testament. Okay. So Jesus came as a baby. He grew up and he taught about the things in the Old Testament. And he taught uh, men and women how to live and more about God. I don't hear your voice. Hey, let me give you a hint. I have something very fun on the carpet this morning that you might get to have at the end of our time. But what has to happen for you to get to do this fun song? You have to listen first because we want to hear from God, right? Voice. Voice. I'm waiting on you too so that I can finish talking so that we can maybe sing this little live mic. Okay. 
He died on the cross, right? But he didn't stay there. Where did they take him? Two. To the tomb. How many days did he stay there? Three. Three. And then what happened? He rose again. again. Yep. Where is he now? In heaven. Is he listening right now? Yes. Is he listening all the time? Yes. Is he always with us? Yes. Very good. You're absolutely right. Okay. Even when you die, he's with us. You are with him when you die. You're right. If you believe in God, then when you die, you go to heaven and you're with him. Okay. I feel like my, my turn. My turn. So look, we're still pretty close to the beginning of our Bible, right? We're in the book of First Samuel, and that's where we're going to read from. But it's easier for Miss Rochelle to blow it up on a piece of paper. So these are the very words. Even when you die, you turn into grass. Okay. It's my turn to talk, okay? Are you ready? Put your bubbles in. I want to see your bubbles. Everybody's bubble. Good job. All right, so remember last week we talked about that Hannah went to church and she was praying so hard that Eli the priest came over and asked her what was wrong. And it was because she wanted a baby and she had a baby, Samuel. And Samuel went and lived with Eli in the temple and he grew up with Eli in the temple, right? And Samuel and Eli tried their best to do everything God wanted them to. They tried to speak God's words and they tried to help people. But Eli had some sons. And they were not followers of God. They did not try to do the right thing. They did not pray. They did not listen to God. They chose a very bad path. So the Israelites were battling their enemies, the Philistines, and they, the Israelites had an idea. They decided that if they took the ark out of the temple, which we would call a church, and took it to the battlefield, that maybe that would help them win. They weren't counting on God. They weren't trusting in God, they decided amongst themselves that they were going to pick up the ark and they were going to move it to the battlefield. And this was not supposed to be done. So they took the ark to the battle and they all cheered when they saw the beautiful gold box sitting on the battlefield and they thought that they were going to win. Um, and Eli's sons were the men who carried it to the battlefield. But you know what? The Israelites did come in the battle and their enemies, the Philistines, they took it and they took it away. And the Philistines had made a great big statue, and that was what they prayed to. It was very silly. It was a great big statue probably made out of stone. So they put the ark in with their statue and their temple, and they went home. And do you know what happened? The next day they came to their temple, and their statue was laying down like this in front of the ark of the covenant. It was bowed down before God. So they put the statue back up. The statue stayed up all day. They went home. They came back the next day. Not only had the statue fallen down, down again before God again, but it was broken into a million pieces. Well, they weren't smart enough at this point to send the ark back to the Israelites. So then God sent more punishment on them. He made them very, very sick. So the um, Philistines became afraid, and they didn't want the ark there anymore because they knew that it wasn't theirs and it didn't belong there. And they were hoping if they sent it back to the Israelites. Boys and girls, it is my turn to talk. You're not learning if you're talking, okay? So they got two cows, and they got a cart, and they put the ark in the cart, and they decided to send it down the road and get it out of their land. And do you know what the Bible tells us? It tells us that those two cattle carried the ark so carefully that as they went down this steep path, they didn't even turn their heads to the left or to the right. The Bible says that the ark went directly down to where God wanted to be to the person that God wanted to be to. And so now the ark was back with the Israelites, yeah. and the Israelites had God with them again. We don't need the ark anymore, right? Because who did God send to forgive us of our sins? He sent Jesus down to die on the cross for us, right? And Jesus was the one that paid the price for all the things that we do wrong. And we all do things wrong, don't we? We try to live differently. We try to do and act and say what God wants us to do, but we can't be perfect like Jesus, right? We just have to try our best every day. All right, stand up, and I'm going to hand you some glow sticks, and we're going to see if we can get Mr. Shaw's phone to play this little light of mine again. Why uh, Because they're just fun, and we like to go with the lights off, and we play the yeah. out and the lights off. So and can I tell you something, Mr. Shaw? Okay. Um, um, what do you think? I was, play back. I was, I want one of those connectors things. Uh, we'll see if there's any in the other thing. Okay, We're not. See. No, I'm gonna hand them out, and oh, you guys, let's stop. Yeah. You, I'm gonna hand them out, and you guys can trade with the neighbor if you want to. But it takes forever to try. Right, get the one you dropped. Right. You know. <laughs>